It took me four years from a newbie developer to become a tech lead. However, reflecting on my experience, I gathered some valuable insights to share with my fellow developers aspiring to step up into a role of a tech lead. Now, defining the role of a tech lead can be a bit like trying to catch a rainbow. It's different for everyone. For me, it's primarily about mentorship, guiding and supporting my team to grow and excel. This involves assisting them with their designs, conducting code reviews, and teaching them effective communication strategies to collaborate seamlessly with other teams. Back when I first entered the industry 11 years ago, the only clear path I saw was toward management. But times have changed, and now it's evident that there are alternatives avenue for advancement such as becoming a tech lead or an architect. So without further ado, here are my seven tips for those aiming to embark on the journey of becoming a tech lead. With so many tutorials online, it's easy to dive into app or game development without learning the basics of computer science and programming. But here's the thing, understanding common data structures and algorithms is crucial for a successful career in software engineering. Plus, understanding programming fundamentals make it easier to switch between languages. It's like learning the grammar of different languages. Once you understand the rules, you can speak any language fluently. To become a tech lead, having a minimum of two years of experience as a developer is crucial. These years of hands-on experience provide invaluable insights into the software development process from writing code to debugging and testing. During this time, developers gain a deep understanding of programming languages, framework and best practice. They also encounter various challenges and learn how to overcome them, which is essential for leading a team effectively. A developer's life is full of problems, big and small, whether it's dealing with code issues, bugs in production, or lack of documentation, we all face challenges. But you have the power to do something about them. Some people hope someone else will fix things, while others ignore the problems altogether. But neither approach works. Instead, you can take charge and tackle problems head on. It's not always easy, but it's worth it. Being proactive is key to avoiding problems before they even arise. And by facing challenges and finding solutions, you will become one of the key players in your team. In fact, I created a video specifically about this topic, where I talk about the importance of proactivity and share some strategies for implementing it. I'm fortunate to have had the chance to work with various technologies and framework as a software engineer. Each experience has given me a broader perspective and improved my high-level mindset. Don't limit yourself to just one technology. Instead, focus on grasping the fundamental concepts. This way, you will find easier to adapt to new technologies and programming language as they emerge. Plus, the knowledge you gain from one tech stack can enhance your understanding of others. Participating in meetings outside your team can be a great way to broaden your perspective and build valuable connections. When you attend meetings with other departments or teams, you get insight into different aspects of the organization and how they operate. This can help you understand the bigger picture and how your work fits into the overall goal of the company. Moreover, it gives you the chance to network with colleagues from other areas, which can open up opportunities for collaboration in the future. Let's face it, developers are usually introverts that don't like to be in the spotlight. But you need to break out of the cocoon you have been hiding in if you want to become a leader. And I found a book that really opened my eyes. Show Your Work by Austin Cleon. It's such a great read. It's not too long, just around 225 pages, and it's split into 10 chapters that are super easy to follow. Cleon's writing style is clear and engaging, and he uses examples and diagrams to explain his points, which I found really helpful. The book talks about the importance of sharing our creative journey, even the small stuff and how storytelling can connect us with others. Cleon also warns against being too self-centered and reminds us to give credit to others for their work. I especially like the part about surrounding ourselves with positive people who energize us and avoiding those who drain our energy. And Cleon's advice on handling criticisms and setbacks resonate with me. Overall, Show Your Work is a book I definitely recommend. Working closely with the project manager, the business analyst, and other stakeholders is crucial for the success of any project. As a team, we collaborate to ensure that everyone's needs and expectations are understood and addressed throughout the project lifecycle. 
developers that want to be technical leaders need to have strong connections with every person involved in the project. So take the time to understand how to work with the different roles you encounter. Everyone brings something valuable to the table. Make the best use of it. Becoming a tech lead is more than just about technical skills. It's about embodying leadership qualities like effective communication, problem solving, and initiative. That will help me land the role. And it's what I believe sets great tech leads apart. In this video, I explain what are the most important steps a tech lead needs to do in their first 100 days. Thanks for watching and see you next week.